Hey, Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Crystal. We're going to do a love reading, okay? Past, present, future. Oh, wow. So you have chemistry, heart to heart conversations, and engagement and attraction. So there's a lot of like, you know, how you feel for this person is how they feel for you. I feel like you guys are very attracted to each other. There's a lot of chemistry. Um, I feel like in the past, there was like a very strong magnetic attraction that kind of like brought you two together. I'm here in spirit. So spirit could have brought you two together. The current time you have heart to heart conversations. So spirit wants you to honestly discuss your feelings with them, or maybe they're going to be doing that with you. Um, take it how it resonates, right? If you're feeling called to do it, you know, spirit saying you have the green light and then you have engagement. So like this heart to heart conversation that you guys are having is going to lead to this, um, you know, upping up your love life, I guess, engaging to a higher level of, of commitment here, okay? You have a clock. So somebody may have just gotten over something and healing from this, okay? And somebody is taking their slow, slow, slow time, okay? So this person may not be in a rush, just letting you know, um, or you may not be in a rush, you have passion ignited. You literally have two. I guess there isn't the passion one, but you have passion, chemistry, and attraction. So their intense sexual desire towards you is making it hard for them to know the difference between lust and love. This could be something that's new, guys. And it's like, ever since meeting you, okay, this person is trying to like decipher, like, are they going crazy or is this really feelings? Because this could have been something that's happened like way fast, right? This chemistry could have just brought you all together like a magnet. And now it's like, can't get each other out your, your minds, right? So I want to clarify the heart to heart conversations, the high priestess. Okay. And my deck is upside down and it flipped up. Right. So I definitely feel like somebody, there's a lot of secrets. Somebody's closed off, maybe not secrets in a bad way, but a secrets as like, um, not expressing yourself, not opening up the high priestess is somebody who knows it all, but says nothing. So you guys <laughs> may have like no communication really, or not much communication going on because somebody may be battling a lot internally being back and forth with this situation. But spirit wants you, you know, if it feels right, do it. If it doesn't feel right, there's always another day. That's what I always say. But what are these heart to heart conversations going to be like the world? The five of pentacles and the two of wands. Somebody sees you as their world, okay? And it's like with the two of wands, they're making plans. But with the five of pentacles, this person may feel like they don't have enough to offer. Or they may be going through some type of struggles, okay, uh, financially. The Emperor, it kind of fell sideways. So whenever I see a card, you guys might be dealing with a Taurus or an Aries but or Cancer. But whenever it falls sideways, it's like... With the amp, it's like almost there and almost not. So it's kind of in the middle. So I feel like somebody is having a hard time stepping into their power, a hard time working up the courage to kind of speak up, say something, say how they feel, right? Um, with the emperor and like sideways, though, this is somebody who's not sure. So they are taking their sweet ass time, right? But with the chariot and the four of wands, this could be a twin flame or this could be like a new love. This could definitely be something that leads to a further commitment or engagement. Could even be marriage, okay? With the six of pentacles, I do feel like there is a lot of like, maybe one's doing more than the other, okay? But with this, I feel like this is emotions coming in very quickly that you can't stop, right? And with the four of wands, like, this is definitely going to lead to a commitment. The page of wands. This person may have explored their options, and now it's like with the three of pentacles. There could be a third party here, but I feel like this person explored their options, and now they kind of have an idea in their mind, Knight of Swords, as I'm saying that, they're about to run with. So there may be something that this person's hiding, holding back and wanting to say, holding back the devil, <laughs> and wanting to say, right, wanting to speak up. The Ace of Cups and the King of Wands. Somebody finds you very inspiring. Here you go, the devil again. You guys may be also dealing with a Capricorn or even a Leo, but I feel like you guys, um, somebody finds you very inspiring. Somebody is like in love with you, okay? They're 
maybe not in love with you, but they definitely have deep emotions for you that they keep secret. Okay? So, what's coming in with this engagement? Somebody is stressing, overthinking this. Look, Eight of Wands, I mean, sorry, Eight of Swords, Eight of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords. So you got two eights, two sevens, and a five. I do feel like there's a lot of struggles here to move forward. Somebody's definitely got their heart guarded. Somebody's definitely worried about being hurt, used, walked all over, lied to, ghosted, abandoned, right? Somebody doesn't want to put their all into this for it to just sneak away and run away, right? But with the Eight of Wands, it's like it's still going to move forward. It's just somebody's thoughts. Um, this could be you. This could be your person. Overthinking, over worrying, over stressing. Instead of just going with the flow, right? There could be a lot of blocking. The hangman, as I say. And the four of... See? See how this person's holding a pentacle way close to their heart? <laughs> blocking their heart and the hangman of stagnancy but this is also somebody who's going through an awakening so this person may be noticing that like you know with the judgment going through an epiphany and realizing that there is something here within the both of for the both of you together the page of cups they're getting signs everywhere but i feel like they're still trying to juggle these signs because they're not sure if this like i said is if this is lust or love it's they're unsure, so they're just sitting there in their emotions, sitting there thinking about it and regret and sadness. And with the hangman, they're not really doing much about it. I do see this getting a little bit, you know, once this conversation, I feel like it's going to happen soon because this is the present. Once this conversation comes up, okay, I'm feeling like this month, then this is going to be something that pushes you guys forward, okay? The Five of Pentacles keeps on coming out. Somebody may need to work on abandonment issues. Okay, feeling less than. Okay, not feeling worthy enough. Why the Five of Pentacles? It's like this person wants love. They're walking right to it. But they're so scared at the same time that this is going to fall apart. The death card is, you know, they're scared that this is going to fall apart. There is some mystery to this. We had the high priestess earlier. Now we have the death card, which is Scorpio, which is also about mystery, right? And then you have the page of cups, which is illusions, delusions. Somebody may be feeling like this is too good to be true. Okay. So let's see what this person feels for you. Like I told you, I feel like this person may not have healed from something. They don't feel worthy enough. I don't know if this person notices their worth, okay? This could be you as well. Somebody definitely feels like they don't have a lot to offer. Somebody may also be getting out of a relationship and going through some financial struggles or some self-worth issues, okay? Um, how they view you. The devil in reverse. The chariot, the magician, they manifested you. You manifested them, they manifested you, okay, with the devil in reverse. That's a good thing because I see somebody letting go of toxic things, people, places, things, mindsets, old ways of doing things, standing more in your power, closing out a cycle, right? Um, but how they view you is like you may take on a lot, okay? So with the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Cups and the Justice card. I feel like they feel like you kind of balance them out. They also see that you could be their happily ever after. But with the Ten of Wands, somebody carries a lot of weight. There's a lot of, sh like, um, how do you want to call this? Baggage. Somebody has a lot of baggage that they need to let go of, right? I do see it being let go of, but that's just something that's in the way. This person views you as like they're happily ever after and the justice card as somebody who's very peaceful, calm, okay, somebody that wants the best for everybody, the nine of wands and the two of swords. 
your person also does not know how to take you. <laughs> um, they don't know if you're interested in them enough, okay? And with the Ten of Wands, the Nine of Wands, and the Two of Swords, they are unsure. And the Two of Pentacles, like literally, they're unsure that this is going to go a good way. But at the same time, they see you as like, this could work out really good, but then this could work out really bad. I think that's why the heart-to-heart -heart conversations need to be had here because somebody's um, worried a lot. And now you have the three of wands. So somebody's just waiting and waiting and waiting to open their heart. Okay, for now they may have their heart closed off a little bit. The hermit. Yeah, this person's a little quiet, okay? A little bit reserved. This person doesn't open up all the way. They may be really focused on their money and their career at the moment, too. They may be going through, like, a brand new beginning. Okay, like I said, somebody's walking away from something that doesn't serve them. The devil in reverse, the magician, and the high priestess, as many times as I've seen it, it could be some type of, um, you know, curse or spell. The Knight of Cups. But I feel like if there is a curse or a spell, I feel like the angels are helping with this okay the two of wands yeah and the five of cups there could this could have been something that was held away for a long time okay this could be somebody that really misses you and regrets um not choosing you not going in the right direction it's like they were shown the direction to go towards you and they didn't go that way and now they regret it okay but now this person is like obsessively trying to manifest you um like crazy, the devil in reverse and the magician. And the ace of swords, as I'm saying that, which is saying I'm speaking the truth. So I do feel like your person is trying to manifest you now. If this person hasn't came in, there's so much chemistry here that even when you guys are not together, you still feel each other. And like I said, this conversation that's coming in is going to be something that kind of lifts the veil a little bit and kind of opens things up for things to go a little bit further with this engagement card. Sorry if you're my granddaughter. She's sick. So let's see what's coming up for this month in January. Or the month from whenever you see this. You have the Seven of Cups. You're definitely going to have a choice to make here. Even with the Two of Wands. There's definitely a choice that you're going to have to make here. You may have a choice between two different people. Okay. Um, the Six of Pentacles, there's another thing about where it's like you have to weigh out things, okay? Um, really pay attention to who reciprocates things, okay? As I say that you have the Two of Cups, it's about reciprocation and like equality, right? And balance and harmony and peace. And then you have the Six of Pentacles, which is about doing too much and then not getting a lot back. So really focus on anybody or anything that it's like you're doing all the work and it's like one-sided, um, speak up if that's the case, say your piece. If not, you're going to drive yourself crazy. But I do feel like, um, spirit wants you to go for the ones that will show you that you're worthy. Go for the ones that show you attention. Go for the ones that will reciprocate what it is that you're putting in. Okay. So that way you don't feel like you're always doing all the work, right? Cause that's never fun. So I'm going to clarify this engagement part. Five of Pentacles in reverse. So that's a good thing because this keeps on popping up upright. So with the Five of Pentacles in reverse, it's like this person's done running. They're done ghosting. They're done abandoning you or abandoning their feelings and ignoring shit that they are being called to do. With the Tower, they have an epiphany here, okay? It's like they had a sudden shock, a sudden realization to where it's like they don't want to lose you again, okay? It hurt too much. It's too painful for them. This has been something that they've been suffering from ever since they've walked away from you or ghosted you or left you, okay? Or this could have been something, if they haven't done that to you, this could be something that's been done to them and it's just like... They do not want to go through that again. So it's like they want to come in something. It, when they come in, they want it to be something to where it's like, y'all are going to stay. You're committed. You make like this decision to stay together. Maybe even engaged. The Ten of Cups. 
All right, you got the Tower, the Ten of Swords, and the Ten of Cups. There is definitely a major ending, and this ending could have to deal with this, this person, how they deal with their emotions, and how they overthink and worry about things, okay? This is all being put to rest um, because this person is finally going towards where they are guided. <laughs> They're going towards where they are guided because they realize that's the truth now. They're not They're not questioning how they feel for you anymore. They kind of know. Look, as I say that, they kind of know you have the four of wands. This person may know that you're their twin flame, may know that you're their soulmate, may know that it's worth committing to you. Actually, the engagement card with the four of wands is basically... Um, the same thing, because four of wands can be about marriage. And the nine of pentacles, now it's like... By the end of January, or by the end, after a month after you watch this video, a month from when you watch this video, okay, because I don't do timing like that, but um, with the Nine of Pentacles and the Four of Wands, this person and the Emperor is going to finally realize, like, oh shit, like, you know, I am worthy, like, let's just try this one more time, or let's, let me just put my foot down and suck up my pride and just, you know, try this out, because this person sees you as they're happily ever after. They're getting too many signs about you for them to freaking ignore this and keep on going the other way. Let's go one more card or two. You have the judgment and the king of wands. Spirit is telling this person, it's time for you to work up the courage and just suck it up and make, you know, follow through on your plan. So somebody may have a plan here of what it is that they want to do with you in a good way. <laughs> okay. And with the world. Yeah. It's like, I feel like this person may consider you as, like, you complete them. And this can also mean a sign of, like, a completion, a cycle that completed. And this can also be somebody coming back around. Okay, so take it how it resonates for you guys. But, yeah, that's what I got for you guys. Hope you guys have a great day. Toodles.